Hello from Southern California. Welcome back, everybody. Well, got some footage for today. I mean, I'm sure I don't have to tell everybody that uh, we're going to have lots of shadow on the left there. <laughs> Hope everybody's weekend was all right. Some of the morning footage I picked up was really short. Uh, they shut a bunch of cameras off or something. I don't know. Anyway, as you can see, the sun is going up and around something right there. It's blocking light. You can see the cast shadow up there on the right center. And it's rolling in. It's kind of got a green tint to it. It's amazing how the sun gets higher and the clouds get darker. And those are up upper atmosphere clouds. Someone had said something about them being denser. Pull your head out. They're not denser. They're upper atmosphere clouds. They're basically ice crystals. And Anyway, sun's coming up, and as you can see, there's, there's definitely other things up there. I mean, the clouds are going in and out of shadow. Even when the sun is up way up there, you can see the sky is still dark in certain areas. I mean, it's, it's brighter before the sun ever comes up. <laughs> and then the sun comes up and the sky gets dark. I mean, look at the shadows being cast as the sun comes up around the side of that. Or in between that. See how the shadows are casting across the sky? When the sun is covered up, it's supposed to get more even, not darker. Now you can see the dark circle on the left. You can see the sun having issues going up. So there's obviously something in the way because the light's just going everywhere. See how the clouds are going in and out of shadow again? Of course you do. Here we have another sunrise where the sky is really bright and you see things coming in and going out falling back into shadow as the sun comes up look how dark it got <laughs> I mean the, the sun's got no effect on the on the camera because it's too far to the right and yet here we are with these big cast shadows again the sky is not getting any more bright as the sun comes up, it gets more dark, which is telling you there's something in the way. Otherwise, all those clouds back there would all be lit up and white and bright, and they're not. And yeah, there are, they're just clouds, but they're not getting any light. Someone said, oh, they're just clouds. <laughs> you guys crack me up with those comments. They're just clouds. Well, the clouds are helping us see, if you haven't noticed. They really show off the shadows when the sun is covered up. See that shadow on the left? <laughs> or it was a shadow. So the sun started going up and behind or coming out from behind. Now, over here on the left, keep an eye on that dark area over there. Right there going to be heading towards the right you'll see it see it going in towards the sun catching the light as it gets closer let's back up and look at it again see it 
in the background there? It's really easy to see. And as it goes by the sun, it even blocks it out for a second. Casts a big shadow as it goes by. See? They cut most of it out, but it happened. Comes another sunrise. Vera Cruz. As you can see, the big shadow in the middle of it. You know, it's going to be round and it's going to be, you know, you can see on the left as well. The sun is going to be coming up in between things, so we're going to get lots of shadow going on. See all that shadow? See how it's just casting shadows all over the place? And it's not just clouds. <laughs> the sun's going up and it's not even bright out. Nothing about that looks right. On the left there, you can see the purple uh, illuminating area there. And as the, well, yeah, they, they cut a lot of the morning stuff off pretty early. And lots of uh, casting shadows on this as well. It's not from density of clouds. But that's just ridiculous. There's no density up in the upper atmosphere, but yet look how much shadow is being cast. I mean, it's crazy. On the right, you can see it coming in on the left, push pushing the light over. I mean, upper atmosphere clouds shouldn't be hazing out the sun, they're just, you know, and then look at that, big round purple. <laughs> big dark area on the left, cutting off the light. Now, lots of light down in the middle, in this little corridor, of like a flashlight. <laughs> and no, there's no simulator. <laughs> Sorry you guys didn't get started with that. And you see that shadow on the bottom left of the sun, how the sun's going down around something round. It's got that V shape. The sun keeps going down behind something every day. And then it gets really red, and look at that big round shadow. Yeah. See how the light above didn't change one, one iota? <laughs> Not one bit. And as the sun goes behind the clouds again, or what you guys say are clouds, I, I see the big round shadows every day that it keeps going behind. See all the green on the right? Yeah, lots of purple on the left. Great big purple and great big greens. And then poof, there's the sun at the bottom. <laughs> How about that? That was wild. Almost like it was uh, just letting the light out at the top of where, you know, the, set, the light was being cut off. But we still saw the light above coming out the top from behind the planet. And then, boom, it dropped out the bottom at the, at the horizon because that was all there was left to do. Let's see it do it again. See that? Ha, <laughs> And there's the big round ball. Got two big shadows on the left and on the right. Balls. <laughs> All right. I mean, automatic. I mean, right off the bat, you can see on the left, the sky is blocking the light. It's not the clouds that are just going by. There's no light hitting the clouds over there. See, I was just casting a shadow. That shadow will continue to stay there. See how it keeps encroaching back towards the sun? See, the clouds are really helpful at showing us what's going on back there. I mean, look, <laughs> there's no light getting back there. It's not the, the clouds that are cutting off the light in the sky, it's, it's the sky. <laughs> or what it would appear to be the sky to us, 
I mean, look at that big brown thing sticking in on the left there. Now we're going to get all kinds of... Yep, there, there's that red shadow looking thing again. Sun's starting to get pinched. Now it's going to start casting more shadow. Oh yeah, look at all that shadow on the left of the sun. Can't tell me that light's not being blocked. Because that shadow stays there. The clouds move right on past it, but the shadow remains. Yeah, I know you saw that. So, just saying, oh, if they're just clouds, doesn't mean anything. <laughs> just means you're not paying attention. We use the clouds like a shadow catch, shadow catchers, basically. I mean, great big shadow catchers. I mean, as clouds move past a certain area and they go into a dark area and then come back out in a light area, light to dark to light, uh, you know, you're starting to see a pattern here, maybe. That means it's, you know, a shadow. Wow, look at that. All that dark sky finally lit up as the sun went down. So now it's the only thing that's in the sky that's bright and, and reflecting all the sunlight. Look at that. Tell me that's nothing. <laughs> Those are just clouds. All right. If they're just clouds, why is the whole sky pinching light? Why are there so many shadows in the sky? I'll tell you why. Because there's not as much light. We're all, we'll always see the sun. That's, I mean, what we're seeing basically is the attachment that goes from the planet to the sun. The electrical plasma connection that we have with the sun. We're seeing that tether. It's not a light bulb out there. <laughs> we spin to keep, we rotate to keep the, you know, the, the connection cool, the plasma connection cool to the atmosphere. Otherwise, it would just burn up if, if the planet didn't spin. I mean, I don't have to point out that big shadow, you know, as the lights. Yeah, they really cut out a lot of footage on that. Sorry about that. But as you can see, <laughs> all that dark area is finally illuminating as the uh, sun has already started to, to pass beyond the horizon there. See all that reflection? That's not from sky. That's still reflecting a lot of light. Well beyond where the sun should be able to see. Uh, you know, on the atmosphere. Where it's still in contact. That means there's something else out there reflecting the light back. For that little bit of time after sunset. I mean, I point it out all the time. How things get really bright after sunset, that's not normal. It's supposed to be bright all day, and it's not. I mean, look at that shadow line going all the way across the sky. Now, the, now all the clouds will show up. Watch. <laughs> all reflecting. See all this blue sky over here? See how it's reflecting a whole crap load of light? The sun goes down way over here to the left. See this dark area? This dark area is going to stay right here. It ain't going nowhere. 
This is all going to get weirdly green looking. See how it's reflecting light? <laughs> See how it's reflecting light? Look at that. See how the blue sky is reflecting light? And all of a sudden, the, the, the sun just disappeared behind the blue sky. Now it's going to pop back out again. <laughs> Pretty good footage, I got to say. See how it's getting weird and green and all that over there? Now it's fine illuminating. It's because, of, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please share.